Hey folks, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm the host of the show, Mark, and you're watching Whiskey Review number 184, the Macallan 15-year-old. This is fine oak, and it's not just fine oak, actually. Well, the whiskey is fine oak, but the, the packaging is a special edition, the uh, Ernie Button, uh, the bottle stopper gift set. So I'll bring that close for you to see. I lucked out, and a particular um, retailer uh, well, he had a bottle of uh, the box uh, available. Actually, I just wanted the uh, the whiskey, but he said, you know what, I've got this uh, box for you, and it comes with this really cool uh, stopper, so why don't you have it, he said. So I thought, well, that's just great. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, anyway, so have a look at that one. Uh, it's got a nice ceramic little, uh, I guess we'll call that a tile. Um, what can I call that? Anyway, it's a little ceramic tile that's been painted with the same artwork uh, that you see on the box uh, there. Uh, and uh, a beautiful piece of oak, I think it's oak, and uh, a very nice, uh, very nice cork, absolutely immaculate cork would be perfect for, uh, for your nice bottle of uh, Macallan. I won't be using it with this one. In fact, I'm guessing that probably either I'll keep that in my collection or uh, seeing as I have uh, uh, this box and this this uh, uh, bottle stopper, I may actually uh, get another bottle of that one and uh, and stick it in here and, and keep the set as it is. Anyway, because I hear these are a little bit sought after. Um, so put that right there. All right, let's get this baby poured. So this is the Macallan 15-year-old Fine Oak. It's 43% ABV natural in color as all Macallan and also all uh, Highland Park are. Whoops, a little bit of sediment on the top there, uh oh. Now that's one thing that I don't like about um, cork stoppers. Let me use my clean shirt to wipe that off. Um, you get a little bit of um, like cork dust at the top of your bottle now and again and uh, doesn't seem to be any real good way to alleviate that. Um, even if you do keep your corks moist by flipping them, I hear once a year for about a minute is what's required. Uh, but there just seems to be no uh, no way to get the the very uh, edge right up there, that place where uh, the whiskey just doesn't get to, to keep that from getting dry and leaving a powdery uh, cork powdery kind of a uh, you know residue residue. Uh, like a dust on the top of it there. Probably using a cork but like that would help. Okay, let's get it poured. If you can think of a good way to alleviate that, uh, oh, good one, to alleviate that uh, little bit of dust that you get uh, from the, the, the top of the cork on your bottles, please let me know. There we are. So what is this, tri uh, this fine oak? Uh, it's triple cask matured. And um, what does that mean? So they've used three different types of casks to age the whiskey. Uh, the first is European oak casks seasoned with sherry. Now it says seasoned, so I'm guessing that maybe uh, that the whiskey, the whiskey, the sherry probably didn't go into production after. It may have, who knows? Um, who knows how long the sherry was in there? Hopefully uh, a couple of years. Uh, and then it says here, uh, American oak casks seasoned with bourbon uh, and American oak casks seasoned with sherry. And according to my palate, uh, I would guess that there's a good amount of European sherry uh, oak in here and um, uh, also a good amount of American oak uh, sherry casks at play. And finally, I think the American oak uh, seasoned with bourbon is the minimal of the three, that in, in my humble opinion. If you know the breakdown, please let me know. And uh, all kinds of stories on this, um, this box. The only one I'll, re I'll read out is uh, uh, the side here about the limited edition bottle stopper gift. Um, 
Exclusively by the Macallan, this limited edition gift box contains a natural solid oak and rhodium bottle stopper. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I guess that's rhodium. I think rhodium is the, the metal that's used here. I still think that's tile. Um, this beautifully crafted stopper features the Ernie button image unique to this expression encased in clear enamel. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, uh, so there's clear enamel on there. Enamel... So, 15 years old, we should let that sit for 15 minutes. Um, I'm not going to do that. I've got my notes to tell me how it, uh, it changes over time. And we'll get right into the nosing and the tasting. We'll talk about the finish and we'll go over the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score. The patented, well it's not patented, the patented Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score. And uh, that's a 100 point scale. And is it a, a completely objective? No. Uh, could it be objective? In my humble opinion, uh, anyone who tells you uh, a score of a whiskey uh, is giving you, in part, their own subjective opinion. Of course, that's also my opinion. Um, and there's no two ways about that. Um, if someone prefers Distillery X, they'll likely score Distillery X whiskeys a little higher. Uh, if someone prefers Style Y, I'm sure they'll score style Y a little higher than other styles. Um, again, those are just my own opinions. If you disagree, uh, let me know. Okay? All right, on to the nosing for the Macallan 15 year old. Now, I have to say, this is my favorite Macallan, um, second favorite? I guess it's my second favorite Macallan thus far. I love the smell of this one and probably the biggest reason I really like the way this smells is that I can smell uh, a considerable amount of peat content and um, well perhaps a very very slight amount of, uh, of a sulfur but uh, in a way that actually uh, enhances uh, the, the smells rather than detracts from it. But yeah, I get a bit of peat, I get a bit of salt also. So this is a very different Macallan for me. Um, now what do I write here? Uh, spice and sherry, so a good amount of spice from those American casks, a good amount of sherry, uh, pickled ginger, vanilla, raisins and figs, a hint of peat, and some menthol. And it seems like if you really uh, dig deep in there and take a very, a very slow, long um, snort of it, you not only get the menthol, but you actually also get the, uh, the similar effect that menthol has on your uh, nasal passages like this would be really great in the winter in a hot toddy I would say hmm anyway so I'm salivating as I'm uh, smelling this because I really want to try it again I think this is going to be one of those that I will probably drink quite slowly um, or I'll see if I can find another bottle for the price that I paid uh, in fact, I paid 100,000 won here in Korea for this one. And I think that's a pretty good deal. All right. Cheers, everybody. And uh, thanks for watching. Hmm. It's like the sherry, sherried Macallan that we all know and love adding some uh, caramel, adding some salt, adding a bit of peat. Really coats the mouth nicely and uh, again, since I'm just tasting this again for the first time in uh, a couple of weeks, um, the finish goes quite long, so that's great. Let's try that again. Oh, and let me uh, also ask, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. You can do so by clicking the, uh, what is it, what color is it, fuchsia and yellow, click to subscribe button, click on that one, okay, do, 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 do. click, 
Okay, do that and you will be subscribed to the channel. That'll help me in a number of ways. That'll help me keep uh, providing content uh, for you to watch. Cheers again. Hmm. Now, quite often the second sip tells you more than the first. Really sweet up front. Not just the sherry, um, dried fruit kind of sweetness, but again, a little bit of caramel. Sweet up front. Then it gets dry. Um, I've got a bit of licor licorice spice, some fruit gummies, and I always get that with Macallan. Uh, the peat actually puffs up um, and uh, really, really works through your, um, your what's that called? The, uh, the passages between your mouth and your nose, whatever that's called. I forget. Let's just see how that works again. Mm-hmm. So, I guess the, um, whatever compounds in there that are uh, the, the volatile ones that you smell when you're, when you're tasting your whiskey, they're quite active. So it's like this, um, it's kind of like what people, what they do with uh, their cigar or their pipe and they, they uh, inhale through their mouth and then they blow it through their nose. This seems to be happening here. Anyway, so a bit of peat. Uh, vanilla and some tiramisu, which is quite nice. Um, again, in the finish, uh, again, a mild peat waft, and that just continues to come up my nose. Licorice, and with time, you'll get some apricot and some ginger. And more like a candy ginger than, uh, than the fresh. Let's add a bit of water. I think we can safely add one of my uh, teaspoonfuls. And we will allow that to mix first slowly and then faster and then extremely fast. There we go. Much more caramel coming through here now with water. Now we forgot to talk about the color, didn't we? Um, color wise, it's much more of a golden hue uh, than the, let's say, the, uh, the Macallan 12-year-old or even the first edition. Um, so a little bit lighter in shade, a little bit more golden than, um, uh, than what you get from, uh, from the, the sherry, pure sherry matured ones. In fact, I think it's slightly lighter than even the, uh, the 12-year-old double cask, which is all sherry, but... Uh, American oak and European oak in that one which I quite liked for the price very very nice Macallan that one yeah that peat has toned down quite a lot and I'm smelling a lot more of the traditional Macallan sherry here with water so that might tell me that maybe I'm right in that there is more uh, at least maybe proportionately more European oak influence here than the other two. And from my notes, um, yeah, gets increasingly sherried. Um, some mild vanilla enters the nose. Hmm, well, it's quite nice. And the peat here is uh, very cloying. It's pretty much gone. Not really noticed at all at this point. And it fades the longer you wait with water. All right, on to the palate. Cheers again. Mmm. It's got the same sweet intensity um, as, let's say, the 12. Um, but it's got a little bit more of um, caramel, uh, that kind of influence. Very nicely sweet and sour. Very good, ba very nicely balanced that way. Um, and uh, whatever, S P R. Aha, spicier. There we are. Sometimes I can read my writing. Spicier, yet more red fruits uh, than without water especially strawberry. 
And interestingly, uh, as I was uh, going over this quite a few times, I guess about probably five or six times with this one now, there was this flavor I couldn't quite identify until it hit me. This is um, a little bit lemon-lime, very sweet lemon-lime, like Sprite. So I circled here Sprite, um, uh, and then uh, more and more vanilla. So almost like, like a, a vanilla-infused Sprite uh, effect happening alongside the, the, the red fruits and the um, spiciness. Uh, much lessened dryness when you are swallowing with water here. But then when you finally do swallow, um, a bit of dryness returns. Much more vanilla, vanilla cream, some cinnamon, apricot, along with the apricot kernels, which uh, smell and, and taste slightly like uh, marzipan, but more bitter. So that is the Macallan 15-year-old fine oak. And as you can tell by my joy of uh, tasting this, uh, I quite like it. Boy, this glass really is a conundrum. I think I mentioned that before. Let me just show this to you. Um, I wash and dry my glasses by hand. And this is the only one where I cannot see any legs. And I think it's because the surface uh, is just so smooth that you just don't get uh, legs that last. Oh, well, I guess, no, they're there. The legs are there. But uh, it just, everything slips back down into, uh, into the, uh, the glass. Can you see what's happening there? So nothing sticks. It's totally clean again. <laughs> what a weird glass. Um, I mean, I like it. Of course I like it. But uh, it doesn't really help when you're trying to look at the viscosity of, uh, of the whiskey. All right. Hmm. So on to the scoring then. The Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for the Macallan 15 year old fine oak is going to be 90 out of 100. Yep, that's the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for the Macallan 15 year old fine oak. And I write here this is a banging malt. It swings far above its category and a really great mix of sherry and bourbon influences. Well worth buying if you can find it. I hear it's not that easy to find these days. Anyway, look for it if you can. And uh, stay tuned for more about this one. I might have to do something with this. And so it turns out that is oak and very nicely made. So that's a really great uh, kind of a uh, whiskey heirloom that you can keep for your life. Put that right side up. Well, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget about my Twitter account, my Instagram account. Uh, also, for the Koreans watching, there's a neighbor blog. Um, you can just search my name, Mark Kaufman, and you'll find the neighbor blog. Or just type in Whiskey Whistle or uh, Whiskey Whistle. Uh, first of all, I wrote it Whiskey. I may change that to uh, we, uh, to Whiskey 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 with an uh, uh, he instead of uh, uh, an yung. Okay, so Neighbor Blog and also uh, newly launched last week an all new YouTube channel Whiskey Whistle Korea. You can find that one uh, where I use my Korean skills. Uh, as I fumble my words. Uh, I do have some talent speaking uh, Korean at least a little bit. Um, so you can either enjoy it or maybe chuckle a bit as I fumble over a few uh, sentences. Okay. Uh, the first one was uh, an interesting review of a whiskey that is the number one whiskey by volume sold in the UK. All right, so watch for that one. I'm going to try to put out one review a week. Uh, Instagram also, Twitter, yep, and also the Facebook page. Don't forget that too, Whiskey Whistle. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, be sure to subscribe. That's a real big, big uh, benefit for me. That's the way you can, can gift me uh, by subscribing and watching and commenting and all that kind of thing. Uh, share it with your friends, share it with your mom, share it with your dog, okay? Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.